Hello, how are you guys doing? In this video, we're going to learn how to draw huge, oversized, watermelon-sized breasts, but that are natural, not artificial, and in a bikini, not nude. This is Neil, the art instructor at MasterPaintingNow.com and Udemy, and also a best-selling author of the book on Amazon, How to Draw Awesome Figures. Let's get this party started. All right, so first thing is we got to keep in mind, we're going to make a sketch layer here. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. This is a quick little sketch I did to give a placement for it. Now, when you have such a small frame like this, uh, more of like an anime type of frame, you still have to think about where the breast connects. So the breast connect you know, somewhere in this area on the rib cage. So keep those connections in mind and then think about how big you want to make the breast. We want to make them huge watermelon breast. And so because of that, you got to think about gravity. Gravity is pulling straight down this way, right? So because gravity is pulling down, you have to draw the breast coming off and pulling down by gravity. So we'll have a little bit of cleavage here. We're going to take this first breast here on the further side and draw it down because gravity is pulling the natural breast down. It's still kind of resting on the rib cage, And then also what's going to be pulling up just a little bit will be the bikini. But I like to think about this in stages. So first I like to get this first part done. And that is, well, let's just get the breast. And this one, you know, we have her like this. So it's going to kind of be being pushed up by her body a little bit. And this is going to be the, I'm going to make this the dominating breast and her cleavage shouldn't be that high. Even though we're, you know, drawing more of an anime type of body style here. Like that. So what I, what I keep in mind is that there's this triangle and it's coming out this way. And so I know that that's going to be the basic placement of nipples. I'm keeping this non-nude here, so I'm not going to draw any, any definition there. That's like the placement of this case, the bikini line. But you have to think about that as where the nipples are going to be. That's what's going to be covering up. Another thing we can do is we can kind of turn down our our background layer there just a little bit. Well, I guess a lot. So we can see what we're doing here. Now, once I have that kind of figured out, then I go, okay, I need to have a bikini. And this would be a string. So I'm going to have the kind that has a string. And usually when women have these oversized breasts like this, they can't actually fit into a bikini unless they get like specially made. But it's not really going to cup their, their breasts. It's more just going to go around, around the nipple area. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to imagine there's a triangle here. And then part of that's going off outside of view, the rest of the bikini there. Now if it's pulling kind of tight on the breast, these are the other things we can think about when it comes to um, smushiness and things of, of objects. So what I like to imagine is if I'm, well one thing, let's go ahead and pull this around her neck here really fast. So that way it goes around her neck, that's the strap, oops. And then we'll have the bikini top come up here. Again we'll kind of have it disappear off the side over there just a little bit like that. So after we have this sketched out, the next stage, I'm going to kind of lighten this up, the next stage and let's go ahead and actually get rid of that for right now. The next stage then is to think about, let's go ahead and delete some of this here, to some of the detail, is how things get squished up. So like I said, I like to do this in stages. So now I got to think about, well, how, how is the breast shape going to change at all when the bikini piece is kind of pulling and pushing on the breast a little bit? And so let's go ahead and kind of do that. I'm going to kind of restructure this a little bit here. So one, I want to imagine this, this piece here. So I'm going to kind of stretch off the bikini. And it's going to kind of come like this. And I want it to come down a little bit further. So I'm going to change this whole entire thing here. Something like that. The bottom breast will be hanging out. Right, so no, it, obviously this is going to be a little too small for her. So because of that, we're going to have some alterations. Once I have this done, the next first alteration I want to imagine is that, well, this whole entire string going around her neck is kind of pulling her breast up a little bit, right? It's anchoring them. Otherwise, the breast would, would, would flop down farther, uh, being so big and natural. So I'm going to go ahead and imagine what this looks like, if I can get my drawing back here. Let's go ahead and put that right. Come on. Where'd my drawing go? Okay, there we go. Sorry about that. So I want to imagine how it's being pulled up and by the bikini here. And so I'm going to take the breast and push it up like this a little bit and give a little bit more shape up like this here. And then it's going to form into the arm. Like so. 
Now another thing you can think about is that the breast is going to kind of push out from the actual bikini itself as well. And so I want to account for that. So the underside, then you have this part here. Notice I'm, I'm drawing like an, an arch. I'm not drawing a straight line. The reason why I'm drawing this bottom line as an arch and not a straight line is because the breasts are actually altering this entire line. Is that even though it's pulled tautly, it's altering that entire line. Also think about the horizon line or you know where you're kind of looking at. And so is that line kind of going down or up? And um, I want to be like we're kind of looking down just a little bit at things. That's why I can see kind of some of the top of the, the sofa and stuff. So I want the horizon line just a little bit above. want to think about after we'll smash against each other. So first was just getting the placement of the breast. Make sure they look proper and all that kind of stuff. Now we're doing all this other stuff to make sure everything's correct. The main thing we're just going to see is that cleavage, I think. And I, I don't have to draw it that high. It's just we're drawing more of an anime character. So you know, normally the, the breast wouldn't, wouldn't sit that high. This breast is going to be overlapping. I'm going to have this right here being pushed up as well. Again, think about how the bikini is affecting the breasts themselves. And then we're going to have to do this with shading. It's going to be kind of hard with just line work. But this is kind of pushing into the breast. The Both both parts of the bikini are kind of pushing into the breast. And so the breasts are kind of like popping out right here and right here. Like they're kind of indenting and squishing out. So it's like a slight indent right here. And then a kind of a slight bulge. So there would be a little bit of a, of a shadow right here before we get into that. That part, so we kind of should, uh, treat the whole part as its own separate uh, shape, so to speak, I guess. I'm going to start adding just a little bit of shadow in here, just to start getting an idea for how everything's going to look, like so. We're going to have that part there be actually kind of light in color. All this right here still has form. All right, so now we've come a long way and we're pretty much done with, with the construction of how it needs to look. There's one other thing we need to consider is as the bikini, this whole entire part here is pushing into the breast, the, it's going to kind of change the shape of the breast a little bit. So let's take the underside of the breast there and it's going to kind of push it out because it's kind of like almost like it's it's contorting the breast shape. just, a, just Today's and let's go ahead and draw this in now. Now sometimes it can be hard to like kind of see with everything underneath this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that underdrawing now and I'm going to start erasing things I don't need. So let's go ahead and erase all this here because I don't know what's you know underneath the breast right now as far as underdrawing. So I'm going to get rid of all of that any bit of drawing that's underneath there, like so. And we'll take this layer and we'll turn it down. And then I can go to the inking layer or make another layer and I'll add it to the inking, inking layer afterwards, after I have everything looking how I want it to. I'm going to start by drawing in the lines for the bikini that goes around her neck. Remember, it's going around her neck like that. That's how you want to imagine it when you draw it. And it's coming down here. Then we have the bikini itself. And you know, bikinis usually typically have like, um, where you have this band here, this is kind of like a string that attaches going across. So it has some depth to it. And then also there's like kind of a pattern, you know, like a thickerness on the edge of the bikini there. I'm going to draw the breast purposely kind of pulling out right there. And actually, I think I need to erase more of this underdrawing here. I don't think I erased enough of it. 
I'm going to use a smaller brush even here. Now right here what I have, I want to make the breast kind of come out a little bit right there like so. So it's kind of changing the shape of the breast and the rest will have to do with, with the shading. Just going to kind of hint at a little bit of thickerness there. So you can see how it's kind of pushing in the breast, it's kind of pushing on it, right? I think I might want to change this a little bit too. Now that I have that all figured out, I'm going to go ahead and erase that. I'm going to merge this down. So combine with the layer below. And I'm going to take my eraser here. I'm going to kind of erase some of this line here. I really want this to read well. And I'm going to use a size 5, maybe even smaller. I think a 5 will work like that. I really want that part to read. Make sure the hair isn't. Now, what you don't want to do is have the hair coming off like this, because that would be like a tangent line, the bikini line running right into the hairline. And so that's why I lowered the hair so that you don't have that issue. One of the many things I'll be teaching in my background course I'm working on right now. I'm trying to have it done before the Black Friday sale. So hopefully here in the next, uh, I'm trying to get it done the next 15 days to be totally done with it. And so how to draw and paint. All right, so right about here, the sound cut out of me on the video while I was recording for some reason. That little button got pushed. I got to be more careful about that. So I'm going to go ahead and voice narrate over here at twice the speed of what I was, uh, twice the natural speed which I was doing it at, just to kind of speed things up. Because really all I'm doing is just shading. So, but shading is really important. You notice that, you know, the boobs look pretty good because the way they were drawn and they have that kind of three-dimensionality to it because we drew them correctly and we kept physics and all that in mind. But when you add shading, it just makes anything that has shape and form look more like that form. You know, if you were to draw a sphere, for example, and all you were to draw is a circle, well, that is a sphere. It's perfect. But it doesn't look anything like a sphere, no, does it? But once you add the drop shadow and you add some of the form shadow, suddenly the sphere actually looks like a sphere. So it's the shading that makes most things look the way they do. And so the same thing is with breasts. So you have to add a little bit of shading to your breasts to kind of make them pop out and look more rounded, like they have some sort of roundness to them. Now, of course, the bikini, the way I do the bikini kind of helps bring that roundness out, just as if we were to draw a couple... Um, vertical and you know curved vertical lines and horizontal vertical lines onto that circle and make it look more like a sphere. Uh, that is, it's starting to take on like a three-dimensional mesh in, in a way. Right, so anyway, um, adding the shading is, is really, really important. And uh, if you want to learn more about, and this is really all I said in the real time too, I just like, hey, if you want to learn more about, you know, how it is a shade, because it can be really daunting at first, you know, like how do you know where to put the highlights? How do you know where to put the shadows? You know, how do you even begin to even know where to do all that? I break it down in a really easy to understand way. Um, if you guys have taken any of my other courses, you know, um, you come to know that I hopefully you come to know that I have this very easy way to explain things that make it easy to understand and I do that with perspective as well in this course and it's in my course how to draw and paint comics that's actually a bundle course it's like oh anyway real quick before I get into that that little area right there I just shaded that's to show there's an indent that the that the bikini is actually kind of pushing or yeah I guess pushing into the boob and only with the shading can you really accomplish that and make it look like it's kind of pressed into the boob um, it's like almost like it's cutting into it, you know, because it's a little too tight around the breast. Right, anyway, so, and How's Your All Paint Comics is actually like seven courses all in one. And so you get like 60-something hours all for only $29. But right now, I'm having a super sell. So if you were already a student on, on Udemy, one of my students on Udemy, you should have gotten an email today saying, you know, to get $7 off, or to get any of my courses for $7, which is a really good deal, because for the first time ever, my course, How to Paint with Manga Studio, is actually $7. I've never done that before, so that's the first time since it's been out that I had to sell for $7. Feel free to, to, uh, to share, by the way, if you're an Udemy student of mine and you have one of those coupon codes, feel free to share it with all your friends and stuff. That, that's what they're meant for. So when I, whenever I send out those um, codes, the coupon codes, the links, all I have to do is, you know, the, the coupon code is contained within that link. So all I have to do is share the link. Anyone that clicks on that link will see the course for $7, whether they, they, they're an Udemy student or not. So, you know, share it on your Facebook, Google+, Plus, all that kind of stuff. Email it to friends. Anyone that you think might be interested in learning how to draw and you think they might like my style of teaching, then go ahead and send that coupon code to them. That way they can get one of my courses for only 7 bucks. 
Right. Um, and if there's a course you've been really wanting, but you're just like, you know what, I just really can't afford it right now. Right. Right now is the time. Uh, get any of my courses for seven dollars. So, if for whatever reason you're not one of my students yet on Udemy, and you have you haven't actually, you know, therefore you haven't seen it, then uh, just let me know, and uh, maybe I'll even put a link in this video um, to to get my courses for seven bucks. Um, Actually, I really don't know how, I don't know, that'd be kind of hard work to do because I'd have to do individual links. So, and I'm sorry, um, you know, maybe you can email me. If you're really super interested, just let me know what course you're really interested in or what courses you're interested in, and I can go ahead and link to those. I can give you the link to those uh, for the $7. That does just be easier for me. And also, it shows me that you're really interested because you took the time to actually message me. All right, so yeah, um, it's pretty much done at this point. At this point in, in the thing I was just talking, so I'm just going to talk for a little bit here. Do you think I took this one a little bit too racy? I don't think so. I think I kept it right there at a nice balanced level, um, you know, because it's something you need to learn how to do. If you're going to be drawing things like comic books or anything like that or game art, concept art, it's really important that you ha you know how to draw breast. It's also important you know how to draw booty. So what should be my next video? Should be how to draw um, a Kim Kardashian booty, you know? Uh, that might be a, a good tutorial, good art lesson. What do you think? And do you think I took a little too far this time? I think last time maybe I pushed the boundaries a little bit, but uh, this time, you know, she's in a bikini and things like that, so I'm not pushing the boundaries too much. And of course, you know, it could still be nude. That's fine. Um, and, and what do you guys think of an entire course on drawing nude figures, be both male, male and female? Or what about you know two, two different courses? Because they're I don't want to make my courses too long anymore. So one course on how to draw the naked female, another course how to draw the naked male, and that would go all into mechanics of boobs and butt and smash this way and smash that way. And what what lesson would you like to see here next? Um, on on how to would you, want, would you like to see how to draw the Kim Kardashian booty? That is the big nice juicy booties, or would you like to see something more along the lines of more breast? And if so, what kind of breast do you want to see drawn next? Do you want them even huger, like just cartoonishly huge? We can do that. Um, or what about squeezed in different ways, pressed against a wall? Um, you know, how, how do how do breasts look like when uh, when someone's like laying on their side or laying on their back, things like that? Um, yeah, so let me know what your what your requests are, and then I might be able to get around to do that for you. Oh, guess what? Black Friday is coming up, and I'm trying to get my course done. It's how to draw and paint backgrounds. I'm really trying to get that done for you guys as fast as possible. I know a lot of you guys have been requesting it. Thank you. Double peace. Leave comments. Yeah. Did I get a little too racy this time? I said no, no, no. All right, I know I can't see, man. You don't got to slap me in the face for it.